The Pomeranian is a bright and boisterous toy dog breed originating from what is now known as Germany and Poland, with a long coat and unique neck ruff. This breed, sometimes known as a pom, is normally friendly but may be pushy at times. Despite its small appearance, it is incredibly loyal to its family and can serve as a surprisingly efficient guard dog. Hey there, welcome to Dog Joy. Today we'll be taking a look at the cute Pomeranian. Keep watching to find out why everyone seems to be in love with this breed. History The Pomeranian is the smallest dog in the Spitz family, which also includes the Samoyed, Norwegian Elkhound and Alaskan Malamut. Their name is derived from the German province of Pomerania. Pomeranians descended from the old Spitz ancestors of far northern nations. The Norwegian Elkhound, the Schipperke, German Spitz, American Eskimo Dog and Samoyed are the Pomeranian's closest cousins, all of which have characteristic wedge-shaped heads, erect ears and thick, hairy coats. Early Pomeranians weighed up to 30 pounds. Poms were popular even in the early days of the breed. Michelangelo, Isaac Newton and Mozart are among the famous persons who are reported to have owned Pomeranian type dogs. Pomeranians gained popularity in the 1800s when Queen Victoria permitted some of her Pomeranians to compete in dog shows. This was the first time a Pomeranian had ever been displayed at a dog show. During her 64-year reign as Queen of England, she bred over 15 different breeds of dogs. Queen Victoria was particularly fond of this breed, which she first spotted during a trip to Italy in 1888. She purchased a 12-pound Pomeranian, which many believe inspired her to breed smaller ones. Pomeranians frequently had the most entries in the Crufts Dog Show, Britain's National Dog Championship from 1900 through the 1930s. Their breeding standard was fixed during this time, with the size coming down to its current weight of 3 to 7 pounds and the coat gaining its trademark deep frilling. During this time, a wider choice of Pomeranian's colours became accessible. Early Poms were mostly white, black or chocolate, and when an orange dog won a dog show in the 1920s, the colour palette broadened. They gained popularity across the Atlantic in the late 1800s. The first Pomeranian was put into the American Kennel Club, AKC, stud book in 1888. The breed swiftly gained popularity in the United States after the AKC approved the breed in 1900. The American Pomeranian Club was admitted as a member club of the AKC in 1909 and was recognised as the breed's parent club. They were one of the most popular dog breeds in the United States by the mid-19th century. Pomeranians currently rank 14th out of the 150 breeds registered with the AKC. You may have heard about one of the most famous poms named Boo, who was from the San Francisco Bay Area and lived to the grand old age of 12. Boo was a social media star who garnered over 16 million followers to his Facebook page over the years and even had a book published called Boo, The Life of the World's cutest dog. Puppy Days The tiny Pomeranian puppy is quite unaware of its small stature. They are actually huge dogs in a small dog body. Napoleonic syndrome some may call it. They have a lively demeanour and a fox-like appearance. The puppies can be a playful bunch, yet they are also content to sit on the couch or on your lap. Their territorial attitude will make you aware of any strange disturbances or intrusions in your home. The Pomeranian puppies are devoted to their home. They have a tremendous desire to please, yet can be stubborn at times. They have won obedience, rally, agility and many more contests. Their sociable nature makes it easy and interesting to own more than one. It only takes six months for a pom puppy to grow to its adult height, seven to nine months for teething to wind down and ten months reach their adult coat. Size and appearance Pomeranians are small dogs that weigh between 3 and 6 pounds on average. As mentioned, they have a fox-like face and upright ears. They have a thick, fluffy coat that comes in white, brown, orange and black colours. When fully grown, this little dog stands 8 to 11 inches tall at the shoulder. The tail is covered with long hair and is sometimes curled up over their back. They are small, compact and dainty dogs. Their outstanding beauty is a dense double coat composed of long, rough, stiff guard hairs and a soft woolly undercoat. A Pomeranian has a sturdy body, a fine boned, short neck and clean and compact cat-like feet which has them move smoothly and elegantly temperament and characteristics. 
This breed has a temperament that can be best described as confident, lively, brazen and sometimes combative. These features, combined with a caring and devoted demeanour, make them a really distinctive breed. They form strong attachments to their owners and can get depressed if they don't get enough playtime and attention. This is vital to remember if you are thinking about getting a Pomeranian. Although these temperaments are common in most Pomeranians, this does not guarantee that your own will have the same disposition. Poms are a good choice if you want an enthusiastic, pint-sized companion with a huge personality. They also make wonderful pets for the elderly and those with hectic schedules because they are not overly dependent. They are also perfectly sized for people who live in apartments or houses that do not have a backyard. Training and Intelligence Despite their small size, Pomeranians have booming barks and make good watchdogs. However, they may not always know when to stop barking, so train your pet to stop barking on demand. Due to their outgoing personalities, they can make excellent family dogs, especially with adequate training. Some Pomeranians have also been trained to be hearing aid dogs, and they make wonderful therapy dogs, giving joy and comfort to the sick and aged in hospitals and nursing homes. They are intelligent dogs that are simple to train. Poms are lively creatures, but they can get enough exercise through indoor play and short walks, allowing them to spend happy lives in the city or the suburbs. If you love dogs like we do and want to see more videos about all the amazing dogs in the world, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified about all our future videos. Exercise and Agility Believe it or not, this breed is a descendant of the biggest of sled dog breeds. Even though they are rather lively, they do not require the activity that their larger forefathers required. They have a medium energy level that should not be underestimated due to their size. They should get at least one hour of physical activity per day, such as walking and playing with toys. They should also be able to run around freely every day, and they don't need much space to do so. Puzzle toys can assist Poms in getting the mental stimulation they require. While Poms perform well in the winter, their thick coat might lead them to overheat in hot weather. So, despite their general endurance, limit outdoor activities to brief sessions in the heat. When outside, keep your Poms safe from predators such as large birds. Poms are classified as an active companion breed. They need modest exercise but are not considered lazy. Inadequate exercise and mental stimulation can lead to excessive energy and boredom. This might result in behavioural issues, including excessive barking and destructive behaviours. Poms are energetic and enjoy going on walks. They will trot alongside their owners outside, holding their heads up, greeting new people and enthusiastically investigating the sights and smells of their environment. Exercise is beneficial to them because it strengthens the circulatory and respiratory systems, keep joints supple and muscles toned and improves sleep and digestion. It is also beneficial to regulate their weight in conjunction with a balanced diet. Shedding and Grooming Pomeranians shed moderately to heavy. They generally shed excessively twice a year due to their thick double coats. Otherwise, expect plenty of steady shedding throughout the year. So make sure to groom your Pomeranian at least three times per week, preferably more frequently. When they are shedding, they require more frequent grooming to keep their stray hair from matting. They are very busy, tiny dogs. Therefore, their nails must be kept short. Every four to six weeks, take your dog to a professional dog groomer for a full groom, which includes bathing, brushing and trimming nails and ears. Health and Lifespan This breed can live between 12 and 16 years on average. Common Pomeranian health issues include hypoglycemia, tracheal collapse and dental disorders, which are more common in small breed dogs. They are also prone to eye disorders, hypothyroidism and other health issues. Patellar laxation or slipping kneecaps is the most prevalent Pomeranian health issue to be aware of, which is also common in other toy breeds. The environment, as well as hereditary variables, have a significant role in your Pomeranian's health. Correct nutrition and medication may help with this health problem. Their puppy knee problems can occasionally be resolved with the right diet and exercise. The Pomeranian can make a great companion with proper training, but this dog is certainly not for everyone. Families with small children may not be the best fit for a POM, but the breed does well with older and calmer children. 
So what's your favourite thing about the Pomeranian? Would you want to own one yourself? Perhaps you have one now. We absolutely love interacting with you in the comments, so please let us know your thoughts and stories below. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.